This video has been brought to you by the Landscape Certified Contractors Association. Due to the membership support, we're able to bring content to each and every one of you. If you have a topic or a product you'd like us to review, or if you want to become a member, visit www.irrigatortech.com and hope to hear from you soon. Enjoy the video. Hey, how you doing? This is Richard Daigle from Irrigator Technical Training School. And we're doing wire tracking, electrical troubleshooting, and all the tricks and all the different things. And I'm looking at the 2003, this unit right here. So it is uh, made by Greenlee. And uh, there's other ones that are very similar to it. Mamata has a really good one. And a couple other people do. But let's just go over this right here. So you have your off and on, and it's going to send pulses. So with this, we're going to set it up. Let me make sure it's off because I do not want this thing to, to give me a good jolt. And what it does is that uh, when it's plugged in and got its charge, it's rechargeable completely. It goes beep, beep. And when it sends that pulse, this is on top of the air A frame. So this is your A frame right here. And red goes to red, black goes to black on this little box right here. So it goes right up on top of this, sets right up on top of there. So I'm going to set this aside right now, but what this does is this unit right here has the black and the red goes on top. And then what happens, you leave this on, we check our battery, so our batteries in this one, unit right here need to be replaced. But then it pulses over. So every time it comes on, it goes beep, beep, like that. And what this would be on top, so when it kicks me to the right, I move to the right. When it kicks me to the left, I move to the left. So the 521, the locating type of units, they set your path from your controller or your valve box telling you which way the line goes. So now when I've worked from the clock coming back or the valve box coming back, and now I go, hey, I've got myself 100 feet here left. I have located where it's at, I pinpointed it, but now I want to make sure because if I dig up that area, it could be in a high traffic area could be in the concrete, could be where, uh, uh, I've just recently had one where it was at a Starbucks. And if we had to dig that up, it would have really caused some major problems for Starbucks. It was actually in the middle of the sidewalk, the driveway that went into Starbucks, and there was no good time. They're always busy there. So what I was able to do is run the pulser on top of the concrete. I was able to wet it and then put sponges on it and then ride it off and I found it. We saw cut it at about maybe a foot by maybe six inches, made a square, popped it out, mended it without any trouble on it, put it all back together and all the wires worked out good. Seems like a lot of mess and a lot of work, but if you're water managing and trying to keep your controllers and everything working and be able to do all the new and greatest water management features that are in the field, you want to make sure that uh, your clocks aren't all running by battery operated units. So this right here, this unit right here, helps you with that. So normally you go out and you wire track with any kind of tracking equipment, like a 521 or the 800, which we just showed earlier, and then this unit pinpoints you right on top of it. So when you do this, you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna put the black to the ground, red to the lead that you have out in the field, and the wire that you're trying to track. And then you're gonna pulse it. The nice thing about this unit, it's rechargeable to get it to work. There are no batteries, so you just pop this in and it charges it up. You do have a cigarette lighter on this, so you can charge it and leave it in your truck if all of a sudden you're, it's worn down. So uh, there are several units that are very similar to this, that it's the model and the manufacturer that you like the most, that supports you the most. So when you take a look at these on a 2003, there are two to three models of the same version. Make sure you're dealing with the factory that you like to work with and you're getting in the right A-frame, the right pulser, and the support from the factory that helps you. So it's not always on the distributor. You wanna be able to pick up the phone and be able to call that manufacturer and say, I need uh, some kind of support. I need repairs on it or anything else and you wanna be able to make sure you're taken care of. But when you're looking at something that's going to pulse out, pinpoint it, the uh, Greenlee 2003 is a good unit to take a look at. I wouldn't say it was the best, but it does do the job for the price that's in the market. So the price range, it is 
a good one in the field, but look at all your choices in the field and make the best choice for you at the most reasonable price to get the job done that you need to get done. So thanks a lot for Irrigator Tech. This is Richard Daigle, and we're bringing you all the technical products in the field on wire tracking.